we just moments ago received a statement from Matt, and let me read it to you. There are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by words and actions. To the people I have hurt, I am truly sorry. One day after he was fired by NBC News, Matt Lauer breaking his silence, issuing a statement that was read on air by his former Today co-anchor, Savannah Guthrie. As I am writing this, I realize the depth of the damage and disappointment I have left behind at home and at NBC. Lauer also says some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized, but there is enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed. Lauer was fired following a female staffer's allegations of sexual misconduct during and after the 2014 Olympics in Sochi. Good morning. Welcome to today and to Sochi, Russia on a Wednesday morning. I'm Matt Lauer. Since the shocking accusation, the New York Times reports two more women have come forward. One telling the paper Lauer summoned her to his office in 2001 during a work day, locked the door. She says that he then asked her to unbutton her blouse, which she did. She says he then came around from his desk, pulled down her pants, um, and had sex with her. The woman says she didn't report it because she felt ashamed and didn't want to lose her job. She says she does bear some of the responsibility for what happened, but she felt like he was kind of using his power over her. According to the New York Times, at some point she passed out in Lauer's office and he asked his assistant to bring her to the nurse. Lawyer Gloria Allred has spent much of her career representing women who say they've been abused by high-profile men. It's very difficult for a person who is a victim of sexual harassment in employment to come forward against a very rich, famous, powerful supervisor or someone at her place of employment who might have influence on whether she is terminated or demoted. Variety says three women described alleged patterns of lewd behavior by Lauer. According to Variety, Lauer allegedly once gave a colleague a sex toy as a present and included an explicit note. Another female employee reportedly claims he summoned her to his office and then dropped his pants, and that he was known for making off-color comments verbally and over text messages. Often there are rumors flying about what an anchor is doing in the workplace. It's usually not a secret, but the fact that there may be rumors and yet the host remains in his position and may even be awarded a new contract is a not so uh, secret message to employees that the corporation is not going to do anything about it. NBC denies that they knew anything about the allegations of sexual harassment against their star anchor before Monday night. And CNN President Jeff Zucker, former executive producer of The Today Show, said this to Business Insider. Obviously, I've known Matt for 25 years, and uh, I didn't know this Matt. But the recent allegations are bringing up other moments from the Today Show, including this parody segment from 2012, where Lauer and Willie Geist seem to mock sexual harassment in the workplace. As Willie's hand goes in for the swat. And other clips resurfacing too, like this sexually driven sketch. Uh, drink it in, ladies. Again, Matt? Really? It's the third time this week. A former co-host Katie Kirk said this apparently in jest about Lauer in a game show lightning round in 2012. So what is Matt's most annoying habit? He pinches me on the <laughs> Wow. Lauer's fall from grace after more than 20 years as the co-anchor of the Today Show has happened at lightning speed. His face already scrubbed from the show's social media accounts. And last night, he was pulled from NBC's famous tree lighting show. The atmosphere is electric as a half a million people have come out. This morning, he was spotted on Long Island in New York. These photos were taken by the DailyMail.com. His family lives there full time in a lavish waterfront estate reported to be worth $33 million. Matt Lauer is just the latest in a string of powerful men who have resigned or been fired because of allegations of sexual harassment in the last few weeks. So fill to me the Yesterday, radio host Garrison Keillor was fired from Minnesota Public Radio. And just this morning, entrepreneur and co-founder of Def Jam Recordings, Russell Simmons, stepped down from his various businesses after allegations of sexual assault surfaced today in The Hollywood Reporter and earlier in The LA Times. Lots of microphones today. And tonight, 
word that Congress paid $100,000 in a secret settlement of harassment claims against disgraced former Congressman Eric Massa, part of 17 million taxpayer dollars paid out in the past 20 years. For Lauer and so many others, a recognition of a sea change in the way men will be allowed to treat women in the workplace. Nobody should have to trade sexual favors in order to get a job or keep a job. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in New York.